Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people have been wondering. How on earth was Pink Diamond and Pearl able to, well, do their job as a diamond and a diamond's pearl, while also be the leader of a rebellion, lead the Crystal Gems into battle? How was this possible? Because, yeah, I mean, the concept of a diamond leaving a double life is pretty cool. As our most secret identity stories, even if I'm not totally fond of what this means for Rose's character, a lot of people are still scratching their heads thinking, how? How could they pull this off at all? And I have a few ideas. Now, how no one suspected Rose and Pink Diamond were never in the same place is beyond me. But also, realistically speaking, who is going to make that connection? If anything, it would just be suspicious for both parties that Rose and Pink Diamond would go off for what I assume would be lengthy periods of time without anybody checking in on them or knowing where they went. But even then, I believe there could be an answer for that. Now, I really hope this is something that will be explored in the show, but if not, I believe both Pearl and Rose have abilities that could very well make this work. For Pink Diamond, one of Steven's abilities come to mind. His abilities to possess other people, or just other life forms in general. We've seen him possess Lars, and we've seen him possess two of the Watermelon Stevens. And if we're going off of Lars, the host doesn't actually realize they're possessed. They're not conscious during this period. Once Lars regained control of his body in the new Lars, it sounded like, mentally, he just didn't exist while Steven was in his body. He was very much unconscious. It's not as if he took a back seat while Steven was in control of the wheel. So by this logic, if Rose was to possess another gem, they wouldn't retain any recollection of what happened to piece together that Rose Quartz or Pink Diamond took control of their body and used it to fight. I think it's very likely Pink Diamond could have either A, had a Rose Quartz separate from the ones bubbled in the zoo on her hands, unbubbling said Rose Quartz so she can possess her, thus being able to be in two places at once. Or B, she just possessed any pink gem nearby and shape shit into rose from there. While this may sound dark, and it is, you have to understand, it's war. There are a lot of dirty, dark, twisted tactics. Now, it's also entirely possible Pink Diamond simply just left her palaquin in disguise and informed her court she would be in there while she was really running around as Rose Quartz. She could have even shape shit into a different gem exiting her palanquin. So they thought, oh, that Ruby, for example, just left the palanquin, probably had to talk with Pink Diamond about something. And once she was far away enough, she would just shapeshift back into Rose Quartz. But that's under the assumption her palanquin was always guarded, which it may not have. Then there's Pearl. There's a way for her, and by extension, another way for Pink Diamond, to be at two places at once, and that is the Hollow Pearl. Now, we do not know the full extent of the Hollow Pearls, which is why I say also Pink Diamond. It's possible Pearl could have created a Hollow Pearl for her to stay in place while she was off with Pink Diamond fighting for the Crystal Gems. There's a possibility she could have created a hollow pink diamond, and both of them just stayed in the palanquin. What's important to note is that even after Pearl got pooped and Steven the sword fighter, hollow pearl remained. So let's just say Pearl got pooped on the battlefield during the war. Well, the hollow pearl and hollow pink diamond at the palanquin would still remain. And you could be thinking, wait, well, hollow pearl clearly talks like a robot and is blue and translucent. Wouldn't that be way too obvious? And the answer is you just gotta suspend your disbelief. It's a war, and the inside of the palanquin appeared to be dark anyways, so gems may not have been able to tell the difference, especially if they were unable to get up close and personal with Pearl and Pink Diamond. So, yeah. I know these kind of sound like ass pools, but these were abilities implemented into the show for a reason. I'm not saying I like it either, but they do make sense. Now, there is also the possibility that Pearl and Pink Diamond just simply left their post, and somehow no one noticed ever, but possession and the hollow pearls make a lot more sense. Like I said, we don't know their extent. For all we know, a hollow pearl can shape shift into pink diamond, or pearl can just create a hollow pink diamond out of nowhere. We saw the hollow pearls fuse, so they could have other gem abilities not yet seen. I'm sure we'll get a more in-depth, thorough, clear explanation in future episodes, but I hope if the answer is different from either of these, that they at least make sense. But what do you guys think? How do you think pink diamond and pearl were able to just live double lives unnoticed? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts directly to me at Ostrich Vox. We're at the round table on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. If you want to help the Roundtable Girls, subscribe to us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, stay in the loop of all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, out.